to another video here on Chemo365. Now, as many of you know, I've been replacing all of the old, nasty, crusty hardware in my shower. The previous runners didn't take care of it, so I just felt it was time to replace it. So I have replaced the shower head, the valve, and the spout, all shiny new. Until I looked at the freaking tub floor and this little bastard, this is called a bathtub shoe. Some people call it a drain. It is nasty. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove it and install a new one. Now, if you're lazy like me, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can get all of this stuff. You can get a combo kit with the overflow plate and a new shoe and a toe stopper tab, whichever one you want to do. But I'm going to leave a link for this one. And really all you're going to need is some plumber's putty like that guy and some Teflon tape. The two things I already had on hand to remove the bathtub shoe were a pair of needle nose pliers and a pair of channel lock pliers. Let me show you how I removed it. This is gonna work as long as you still got this cross member down here at the bottom of your shoe. It's gonna open up your needle nose pliers, put them in like that. All right, then we're just gonna grip them on with these pliers like this, give it a good grip and turn it. Okay, this should be loose enough now to turn it like this. Oh, man. And we can see all that old plumber's putty. And of course, you want to clean up all the old plumber's putty. Uh, you got some down here in the thread, so I'll try to get all that out. I think with the new shoe, though, I'm going to use some Teflon tape to get around the threads. And then, of course, I'm going to line this inside with some plumber's putty just to make sure I get no leaks. You know, originally I wasn't gonna mess around with the bath shoe, but I looked at it and the old one was all crusty, so I'm just gonna replace everything. Now this set here, it comes in this little package here. It's gonna have the overflow plate, and that bath shoe is gonna fit from an inch and a half to inch and seven eighths. So that's the smaller thread size. Mine is the bigger one, so I'm gonna take this adapter and just screw it all the way up tight there, make sure it's nice and tight. I'm gonna hit it with some Teflon tape. I'm gonna wrap it maybe two times around here just to make sure that I can really tighten it in and get a nice seal. And then once I get that in there, I'm gonna get some of this plumber's putty. I'm gonna roll it into like a little snake and then I'm gonna tuck it right underneath this lip and then just cinch it down. So some of it should spread out the side. I'll just get it, clean it up, and that should be it. Let me show you what it's gonna look like. Make sure that's nice and tight here. This stuff is so thin. Let me see if I can dig it out here. There we go. That should give it a nice little seal. There's what this plumber's putty is going to look like. Let's see here. Ugh. Ugh. Eh. All right. Get it in a nice ball here. Okay, that looks like that's going to be good. Right around here. All right, let's go screw it in. All right, put that just in there. See if I can get it to turn. Yeah, you can see how that plumber's buddy's coming out on the side there. in here to see if I can torque it down just a little bit more. That should be good. All right, and the toe tapper just screws in. Overflow plate is very easy to install. 
basically just line it up get your field here at screwdriver drive it on home tighten it up not too tight all done all right guys thanks for watching tune in for the next video